Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube here and I am um, going to do another pour on this 40 centimetre round. Um, I've got some few colours mixed up so I'm going to just explain as I go along. So I've mixed my white that I want for the base coat but what I'm going to do is just pour in a little bit of this purple that I have just to, just a little drop to color it from just plain white to a little bit lilac so so it's not just your plain white just a little bit more whoops 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 Oh, now I've probably put too much in. Oh no, it's a nice lilac colour. So it was just the white, just the global impasto paints I'm using here today. And I've just made that a little bit lilac-y from white. So just to give it a bit of oomph. So I'm going to use that as my base coat. And I think I can just add a bit of water to this because I want it quite quite thin. So just a bit of water. See how we go. I'll just spread that now with the uh, my offset spatula. So I'll just spread that around first. I'm not going to worry about the edges at this point in time but you can certainly um, yourself go over the edges at this time even using your fingers with your glove fingers to go around the edges is a quick and easy way of um, getting the paint over the edges so so that's a nice sort of very pale lilac-y colour just created by putting that purple into your white so that's an easy peasy task finished just checking my camera because I did a video earlier on this morning and it was all lost because it, it started the first two minutes of the video and then I, you know, checked it, well, went to turn it off after I finished and it had stopped after two minutes. So, oh, and there's enough um, memory on my um, camera so I don't know what happened to that. Okay, rightio, I'm going to put, oh gosh, that nearly went a cropper, just a second. I'm just going to try this method. So, that's Bindi Girl. Um, so I'm putting now the, this is the Berry Delicious, so it's one that I custom make. Oh, so it's a really dark, dark cherry purple. So I'm going to put that in there and I'm putting some of the just the purple and I will go the I've got cool red and warm red I'm going to put in here I might just put a bit of the dark in between the two Now I have got yellow, but I am not going to put the yellow in. I think that might be a bit overkill. But anyway, let's give this a go. I'm going to just um, use my heat wand, get rid of any air bubbles. I'll put a bit more of this, ooh, the thinner stuff around. I'm going to blow this out just willy nilly. Oh, I might do it with my other one. I've got to take the time and unravel all of my leads I've got here. So. It 
kind of gone like a bloom effect, but I think that's just having a bit of flow troll in each of the paints. My eye, I wanted to see what, I've got all these different tools here. Combs, got my catalyst wedge, but I think the catalyst wedge might, I don't know, be a bit too um, flat to get nice results. I'll just give it a go. Okay. Lovely. So you've seen me do this with my comb in the past and I've used different things to do it, but I thought I'd try something different again. Let's try. So that was just a, um, from the homeware store. I think it spreads um, plaster or something. Um, this is a little silicone for different effects not sure where i got that one from so just try and wipe it off in between your swipes so you don't i actually don't want to do too much to that she says as she goes in and does more than i wanted i just wanted to try the different instruments or the different things on it to see what the effects were and they're quite nice right nice and you can have like a really good old time just yeah just experimenting with different tools so there you go there was all of these tools i've used today so i am going to just give it a um hit with the heat gun and I think that's quite lovely. I can tell you I am very, very tempted to give you one tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny little balloon just to see what the effect with the balloon. Oh yeah, look how gorgeous. The balloon just gives these lovely I don't care, they are absolutely gorgeous little effects in your paint with with the balloon. So you can use the balloon for so many <laughs> different effects in your paint that are quite gorgeous. So that's just, just look at that. Oh. Gorgeous effect. I love it. I'm not going to do any more balloon. That was just just seeing what that would look like. And I absolutely love it. I will put the photos on at the end. You tell me what you think. It doesn't look nowhere near as bright through this camera. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, I will put some photos on at the end and you just let me know what you think. Uh, thank you so much for joining me again on another little experiment. I'm going to try something else after this that you will see this week. So for now, cheerio, take care, you lovely people. If anybody's feeling down or depressed, please ring a helpline, a friend or family member. Don't suffer in silence. Um, create or get out in the garden, go for a walk, but don't suffer in silence. Okay, take care, my lovely people. Until tomorrow, bye for now.